Hello everyone, this is V Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Today's video is a craft with me with Scrap Diva Designs dies. This is the die that I'm using. It is a witch bow die set. You get 13 pieces in total as well as the zipper element. So this is what we're doing here. I'm making a witch bow embellishment just like Michael's. I love how Michael's decorate their stickers and I wanted to make an embellishment like them. Uh, this is inspired by Michael's stickers as well. So grab your die set and die cut all your pieces. This is what it would look like. I, I'm also using three slivers of acetate. So 13 pieces in total. I did do some double die cuts here in solid black um, i'm going to show you how to do the yarn pom-pom so what i do is i double loop it and tie a knot and then i glue it with some hot glue you can use any glue of your choice once the knot is set to your liking add some glue here i am adding the hot glue very carefully i'm going to sandwich both ends together and uh, twist a little just a little so setting that aside i'm going to start to work on the legs and i've already pre-sewn a lot of my pieces so in fast mode here i am gluing the legs down as well as the shoes and i'm also gluing the uh, skirt and this is what it looks like those are the legs and the shoes i'm going to go ahead and assemble the bow as well as well as the base so this is what it looks like here I love the polka dot with the orange. I think it looks very nice together. The colors just go so well. And so now I'm just going to glue the base of the bow to the largest uh, piece of the bow. All done there. And I'm gonna do the little one in fast mode and also add some double-sided uh, foam in the color black so it sits up very nicely gonna do the same to prop the spider up using some hot glue as well and that's what that looks like i just love it uh, okay so now with the skirt i've already pre-sewn the skirt and i left um, some of that thread hanging loose at the bottom and I love how it looks for the skirt so here is the legs and I glued them with hot glue and now I'm going to add the skirt on top um, before I do that I do want to glue the bow to the skirt first um, right now I'm just fixing everything making sure it looks good making sure that this is what I want and you know sometimes you do make mistakes it's best to make sure that you're gonna do something right especially using hot glue even though I could take it off with my heat gun but I don't want to do that <laughs> it's just a hassle so I'm liking how it looks and this is where I attach the bow to the skirt again using hot glue so I love it so now we're gonna attach the bow and the skirt to the legs I do it with glue as well, hot glue, and this is what it looks like. So now let's attach the yarn pom-poms to the shoes. I kind of wish I would have chosen hot pink for this. Um, it still looks great. I, I still like it, but I think that hot pink would have gave it just a little bit more color there. So what I do, I snip off the extra pieces and carefully glue it to your shoes. You might need to roll it around with your finger, making sure that it's all set properly and no glue is sticking out. I do have some glue sticking out a little bit and I just remove it. So now working with the acetate, I am gonna glue all of my bats together and do that in fast mode. I'm just gonna show you how to do one and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera. So there's the first one, now we have three. So using score tape, uh, I do glue those bats on to the embellishment. I'm just here trying to figure out how I want them. 
And although I did use three bats, I think for the larger one, four would look so much better. Adding my score tape to my acetate. And now just propping it up on the embellishment. So I do do that with the other two as well. So showing you here what it looks like, I decide to snip off the excess thread on the top of the embellishment with some scissors. Just be sure that you don't snip off that acetate, then you're going to have to start all over again. I almost did that. So now I'm just going to remove all the excess pieces from the embellishment. Uh, there are some thread pieces here and there that I want to remove and just cleaning up my embellishment. So turning it over to the back, I want to clean up the back as well. I think that the back should be cleaned up just like the front. So I'm just adding a piece of solid black cardstock to the back. And it is, I'm using the skirt piece to cover the white area. So you don't fully cover all of the white, but that's just fine. It still looks, looks nice and neat. And then you can add some adhesive to the back like double-sided foam adhesive um, to make this into like a sticker bow so this is what it looks like i did completely forget to show you the twine so i will show that now this is a few hours later here's the twine that i do use and i just tie a bow add it to the boots and i picked this up from dollar tree i believe it was last year or the prior year so this concludes the video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video as well as my embellishments that i made be sure to check out scrapdivadesigns.com so you can make your own embellishments like these this uh, die set is called the witch bow die set so um you could get very creative with this and as use it for scrapbooking card making and paper crafting so i'm using it for paper crafting and um yeah so i love how it came out and i hope you do too i will see you guys in the next video